Good morning Europe and good afternoon or good evening wherever you are in this beautiful world whenever you're watching this YouTube video Welcome to the Bitcoin family YouTube channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi. Sorry I didn't make a video on Sunday. I needed a day off as uh, some stuff happened uh, that I will disclose in another video this week and um, you will understand then why amazing charts today i have like four amazing charts in line but also looking at the bitcoin price which is really important at the moment because we have just a weekly close which which direction is bitcoin going to go from now 50k 40k what is the play watch it till the end and you will know one two three bam. this is the first chart guys this is the one hour chart on the one hour chart, we have this bearish pattern. We can call it a bearish pennant or a falling wedge or a bearish pennant. You know, all of these is possible. It's not like a complete clear pattern. And you can see that also because there's a lot of space in here, but it looks like the top is straight and this one is going up. Mostly, this is a pattern that tells us we are going to continue downwards. So mostly, the movement in these kinds of patterns is like up, down, up, down, up, down, and then further down. Um, I don't know if this is going to happen for Bitcoin. We have a couple more hours. There's that one hour chart that, that will fold out. Um, for me, I still hope to go back to that gray box over there, green box over there, 53 to 54K, uh, which of course then would be the target. And um, let's see the target of these kinds of patterns is mostly the width of that so there would be or in that area or all the way back here to the 44k level um which would still not stress me out because it's a low and then it would still be a higher low but yeah let's let's i prefer to see it that way guys um let's think positive positive thoughts okay that is the one hour chart now this is the four hour chart you can see the same um, i made that green box over there because you can see on the green box to the left here that we were in this area a lot of time you know you were inside came out came back came below fighting it get, got inside again got inside again this is a very important area we were in this area but we were able to go to the top of that area break out again and find support on that area i think that is very positive for me that is an indication we want to try to go up instead of down again so for me i'm still pretty bullish that we will try to go to the uh, break the 50k level but here on this one um, you can see why i don't really care and why you should not really care um, this is the um, weekly chart 2017 in 2017 we had like six huge dips we had a 40 percent correction a 34%, a 34%, a 40%, a 40%, a 29%. In average, the correction was like 36%. So many times during a bull run, we saw that correction. And you can see the yellow line, that is the 21 weekly moving average, that every time was support. Here, even if we through it, you see, every time we came close to the 21, we never broke it. If we now take it to today, we can see the same stuff happening in a different way, in my opinion. The pattern is a little bit different, but again, it's a weekly chart with dips. We had a 20% dip, 30%, 26, 55, 25, 40% dip, and average 32%. So the dips in average are smaller than 2017. The yellow line again, like you can see, was support over here at this dip. Here, everywhere we stayed above it, here we broke it, and that led into a 55% dip. Then we took about 10 to 12 weeks to come up above it again, and again, supporting it, supporting it. Now again, the body of the hiking ashy candles is finding support on the 21. The next candle open, that one will close in six days and 22 hours, so that's next Sunday. This candle, again, needs to stay above that beautiful yellow line, the 21 weekly moving average. So for me, this is just another dip till we create a lower low. And that is still not the fact on the weekly chart. Like you can see, this is a low, this is a higher low, this is also still a higher low, 
and we need to create another higher low again and maybe even a higher high over there. The moment we break that pattern, then it's the moment to get bearish. Um, I have three more charts, wait till the end. This is also beautiful to see the bam bam on the 15 minute. Um, if you're a 15 minute trader, uh, just spot trading, buying over there, selling over there, buying over there, selling over there, and waiting to buy again over here. I think when the candle closes, we will see a green flag. So you buy at 48K, you sell at 49K 200, you buy at 48K 600, you sell at 49k 300 and you buy again around 48 600 so you can make some profit as well without leverage just by spot trading using the bam bam indicator without leverage without being able to be liquidated if you want to use the bam bam indicator go to the bitcoinfamily.com and if you want to sign up to the exchanges use our links buy a bit three thousand five hundred dollar bonus huge bonus prime xbt um, I think this is an old bonus. I think they don't have the 50% anymore. Um, Femex has a $1,600 bonus as far as I know. So uh, there's a lot of links down below the videos. Just check them out here, there. This is the first one. Um, I'm sharing these with you because I want you to understand that I also search Twitter for you guys to compare other traders' opinions. Not only my opinion is important, but also other people's opinion. And I just share these next four charts with you because I really like what I see in them. This is the first. On this one, um, we can see that we retraced to this area, 0 0.5 to the 0 0.618 uh, area. That was this wick down to the dollar line in this yellow, two yellow lines in between that one. After that, bam, we took off. 2017, same happened. The yellow can the red candle retraced exactly into that area to 0 0.5 to two yellow lines. After that, bam, exploded. Here now, 2021, the same thing is happening again. We are reaching the top yellow line. We retrace again to that level, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, in between the yellow lines. So is history going to repeat? Are we going to explode, keep supporting that dollar line, and bam, explode from here? Really cool chart. There's another chart that I really like. This one over here. Um, on this chart, I need to see if my face is okay. This one, I think this one is, yeah, this one has the name on it. It was uh, tag dev. The other one, um, I don't know the name. Uh, maybe it was on top of the screen. Um, just go back and check. This one was created by tag dev. Um, he's combining the RSI and the price. So the dip after the first high, you see the floor over there. That is when the floor is set in the RSI. And then you see those yellow circles. These are new highs. So you can see the RSI staying above that floor level. And then the moment when the bear market is confirmed is where that red dollar line is, is that when the floor is being broken. Now, that was 2013-14. Now, 2017, we see the same. The floor is set over there. There's a dip after the first higher high. Then the RSI starts to move up. You can see that here in the bottom. We don't break the floor. And the moment we broke the floor, this red, red dotted line, that was the start of the bear time. Bear market, sorry. Now again, here, the first dip after the higher high. The floor is set over there. Then we start moving up. The RSI starts moving up. We didn't break the floor. We are in this movement. Is this going to return up? Just like it did over here, check. It came down, but we went up again. Is this going to be the same? Are we not going to break it? That would mean that we didn't, still haven't confirmed the bear. Really cool chart. Next chart, bam. Oh, did he? So many charts today. Yes, I want you, uh, I want to give back because I wasn't there on Sunday. Um, this is also a nice chart. I found that also on Twitter. Uh, on the left top, you can see who published them. Mozzie, um, one, one, uh, one, 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 three ones. Yeah, um, same type of chart, calculations. Um, every time when we peak 16% above that line, we pull back 37%. Do you see what I mean? Just pause the video and check it. 
So we go up 16% above that line. The line is the 1.618 level. This dark black line is the 1.618. So we go 16% above it. And then we retrace 37% below it. Now, look what is happening now. The dark line, the 1.618 level, we went 16% above it. And we retraced almost the same amount. I think even 40%, but 37.5%. So does that mean that after that, again, we have that huge BAM jump? We have that huge BAM jump. Really nice chart. Pause the video if you want to look more. And then the chart that made me laugh um, the most is this one. BAM, that made me laugh. But it also is uh, pretty nice to see what it's um, telling us. <laughs> it's like, oh guys, what are we seeing here? Two boobs? Are these boobs? <laughs> is this again two boobs? Um, of course, I need to laugh about the boobs, but if you look at the colors, these two yellow boobs over there, these two yellow boobs over here, this orange yellowish area before that, this orange yellow areas before that, does that mean we will go into this yellow greenish area now? Here, bam, all the way above 100K after creating two boobs. Because we did always in 2017 create two boobs. Maybe we will create two boobs now again. Now, that is the boob chart. Um, that was <coughs> everything for today. I hope you really enjoyed the video. 12 minutes, long video. Sorry for that. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, give the video a thumbs up. Share with your friends and family. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. And leave a comment. And down below in the comments, let me know what you think about the charts, about the boob charts, about the other charts, about everything else, the BAM indicator. Uh, I wish you an amazing day. And see you tomorrow again. Hopefully, then again with better quality image. BAM!